What is going on guys welcome back to another video of chat application development series in android studio. In last video we have completed the login phone number activity so that we can get the phone number and send it to otp activity. So in this activity we will send the otp to the user. So for that we have to create a backend project in our firebase and then we have to connect this application to the firebase. So let's do that first. And to connect to the firebase we can use automatic method as well as manual method. So in this video we are going to use automatic method. You can check out my channel where I have uploaded one video for manual one video for automatic. So you can check that we are doing automatic connection over here. So let's go to tools here you can see firebase click on that it will open the firebase tool. So first I need cloud fire store. We are going to use the cloud fire store also and we are going to use authentication. So first let's do cloud fire store so that we can get the connection. Click on get started with cloud fire store. So first step is connect app. So first step is connect your app to the firebase. Click on that. It will open in the browser. So from here it will show all the project. You have to log in with your Google account. I will add a new project. So add project so it gave the name easy chat automatically but i will say easy chat backend click on continue you can enable this also but i will disable this google firebase analytics create project so our project is ready click on continue so our project is created in firebase you can click on connect now connect send so as you can see your android studio project is connected to our firebase you can use firebase in your project so let's go back in console let's go back to the project and check we are connected or not so here it is not being reflected you can click it again so it is say we have already connected so we are done with our first step second step is add cloud fire store sdk to your app let's do that also click on add it will add some dependencies accept changes so fire store is also added so let's close these tools now we don't require it let's test the fire store so for testing the fire store we have to create the database in the backend server so go to firebase you can reopen the firebase click on easy chat backend so this is our project we can go to build over here fire store database so this we need click on that and we need to create a database click on create database so if you are releasing this app in production mode you should start in production mode but we are in test so let's start in test mode click on next you can select any of the location nearest location and click on enable so let's reload this page our database is created or not so as you can see our database is created now we can add data from our project to test whether it is working or not so go to our project we will use when we come to this otp activity let's just do fire store firebase fire store dot get instance dot collection i will make the collection of test dot add we have to add the data so data will be let's say map of string and string data equals to new hash map import this map import this map and add that data over here so that's it let's run and test it is sending the data or not since we have added the code in otp activity we have to go to otp activity click on next and let's see if data is added or not so reload this console as you can see we have test collection so we don't have any data right now that's why but our firebase project is working fine so you can delete this connection because we don't need we are just doing for testing just delete it and also delete that code over here we don't require this code also so we have successfully connected our app to the firebase and also tested it so in next video we will enable the phone number authentication in the firebase and we will send the otp to the user so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video Bye bye